I've just absolutely hammered the bike today. I got up late for where I needed to be and uh, my commute is about 10 miles one way and uh, I really needed to get there. There was no other option. I just had to take the bike, which is what I do normally, but I needed to hammer it and I really did. This is a really good test for the battery. So I was pretty much full throttle most of the time and I never really dipped below about 20 miles an hour apart from when I needed to slow down and stop for junctions and things. Um, and I was keeping up with the flow of the traffic around about 25 to 30 miles an hour for the most part. And also by the way I've done just over 100 miles, there, 101 miles on this bike so far. So what I'll show you in a minute that there is uh, where this battery pack now rests. This is 20 mile round trip today from charge this morning to discharge now. That's where it rests right now. And on the final leg of me coming home, just 10 minutes ago, I've just arrived home really, uh, under even just medium throttle, it's dipping, the light for medium is going off and it's staying only on empty. So this is by far, I'd say, the lowest I've ever run either of my packs. Not that I've really been using them that long. So in a moment, I'll put a multimeter on this and just to see A, what the battery pack is like now at rest. It's had about 10 minutes to rest. And then in a moment, I'll try and go for a, um, a short ride locally where I live um, and put it under some stress. I'll give it some maximum throttle and I'll watch the voltage drop just to see now how discharged it will be. Of course, my, um, my alarm, uh, my, my mental alarm will be what is it now? I think 40 volts or 39 volts. Anything that makes it uh, 3 volts per cell bank of cells. So that's, that's my alarm. I don't really want to go below 3 volts per bank of cells. And just feeding the battery. And again, it's, it's only been about 10 minutes. It's lukewarm. That's it. I can feel warmth in there if I hold my hand on. I've put some sort of protection on it now as well. Um, that's sort of lukewarm through there. Not hot at all. Certainly not, just lukewarm, which is what I'd expect after uh, unloading it so much for a 20 mile round trip or a 10 mile one way trip coming back home. So let's see if I can find out what voltage we're at now. Okay, 48.78. So that is the lowest I think that I've ever had one of these packs after coming home. And it's only sort of at the nominal discharge state, 48 volts. Um, so around about 3.7 or just over 3.7 per cell, that voltage there. Um, and I'll try and have a go now and see what that drops to under under load. Here's my spare multimeter rigged up so that I can uh, check it on the bike. It looks good, doesn't it? Yes. I've connected it up uh, just to my charging wires down there with some crocodile clips. This is um, this wire here is from the IMAX B6 charger, but it slots into the uh, multimeter with a proprietary uh, plug. So I'll just be riding around and watching that voltage drop now, and I will attempt to do this holding a camera, which will be a bit lethal. Um, speedo's on, just so you can see some speed. That is, of course, in miles an hour for you continental types. Now, uh, this multimeter, I think, uh, underreads by perhaps half to 0.8 of a volt, I think it was. I tested it against my other better multimeter uh, at one stage. So uh, the numbers you've just seen, uh, you could take probably a good half a volt off of them. So I think that dipped at maximum to uh, 42, uh, sorry, at worst, to about 42 point something volts. The, uh, the, the long run up the, uh, it's a slight, the road I just uh, rode up there was a slight incline, a reasonable incline. Uh, and I was at maximum throttle the whole time, and of course I've got uh, the dead battery I've been using all day today. So it dipped to 42 point something volts, at a worst case, because this multimeter sort of, um, isn't, isn't that accurate, I don't think. So it's still not down at 3 per cell, which is good. So I'm still, in theory, safe, which kind of uh, corresponds with what's being said here. Not under load, of course, it just sits at half. Uh, the half light is lit, and if I'm driving quite, no, riding quite normally, half, for the most part, stays lit it's only when i give it full load especially up a hill uh, or three quarters load more than that it goes to empty so it's fairly accurate and as you can see there that was a long drag from effectively zero um, maximum throttle up the up a bit of an incline and i got i think it was somewhere between 15 to 17 miles an hour total speed i wasn't assisting with my pedals either uh, 
Um, so that's an idea of what it can do uh, when it's discharged and how badly it drops the, the voltage, which I'm actually really happy with. Remember, these are used cells um, and they're, they're not dropping that much of what I'd expect. Dead battery, and it's only 11 amp hours, this, this one battery. Uh, at some point, I might well get a rear pannier rack out there and put the other one on just to have more fun with it so I can spend more time at wide open throttle. That would be nice. And I will also try to get some uh, some video of this charged and see what sort of maximum speeds uh, I can get. I have had about 31 miles an hour at this so far. Um, that wasn't particularly trying. It was uh, along a flat slope and a, a flat road and I was giving it some pedal to get it up to speed. Um, so I, doubtless it could do a little bit more than that, but probably I get the impression that 35 truly would be a maximum for this bike.